Hi there. I want to talk to you a little bit right now about sameness and difference and what it means in our conversation, what it means in our world, and how we can play with these to have better conversations, better connections, make better decisions. Um, first, I'm just going to start by saying we hear a lot about diversity. We know that diversity is important. Um, and, you know, first of all, we live in diversity, so there's just plenty of different ways that life and humans uh, manifest themselves in this world, and that's awesome. And when we are making decisions or being in conversation, um, having diversity of perspectives in any conversation or decision making is super helpful. Um, first of all, like more perspectives, more different lived experiences, are going to help us get a more precise understanding of any given situation. The more views that we can have looking at something, the better we'll be able to understand it. It gives us more information, which leads to um, more creativity um, uh, because it forces us to, to be challenged in all the different ways that we can, um, you know, like, there's no kind of one right way to do anything because obviously there's kind of lots of right ways from coming from different perspectives. It's also important to have diversity just because um, we need the full participation of everyone who's impacted by any decision to make sure that that decision is really going to be good for everyone and to make sure that it, um, that it works for everyone. Um, yeah, and the other thing is diversity is hard. Diversity, um, it's not easy to be in conversation with, um, especially when we have diversity of perspectives and ideas, um, values, and such. And, you know, there's a way that diversity is just like an essential ingredient to conflict. Like, we cannot have conflict if there's not diversity first. Um, that's because conflict is basically like, different ideas about how to do something um, and we can either make that into a good experience or a negative experience. Other ways to sort of think about this is that like this gets us to this idea of like us and them which are like we notice in conflict or self like I want my way to do things and then diversity means there's others and so then I have to interact with those other perspectives. Maybe it's just my tribe and that tribe or, or whatever. Um, those are kind of what's at the heart of conflict. And this brings us to this important tension between sameness and difference. I want to give a shout out to one of my teachers, um, Diane Musho Hamilton, um, who with some other folks, Kim and Gabriel, recently wrote a book called Compassionate Conversations. And they talk about this idea of sameness and difference. Um, and uh, you can find some of those videos out there as well. And so when we're in conversation with people, Pay attention to what it means to have sameness. It's really nice when we're having a conversation with someone and we agree with each other. It's fun to um, feel that sense of connection that we have um, when we are on the same page. Uh, you know, you think about like the people when they're dating and it's like, oh my God, you like this kind of food too? I like this kind of food too. It's, it's fun and it feels good to have that sense of connection and belonging and oftentimes like a core idea of sameness is also just that we're in relationship with each other you know if we're having a conversation if we're talking about something that means we both are impacted by that thing um, or we're both in the same space so we always have that basic level of sameness that we're at least you know dealing with the same situation or we're both humans or we're both americans or u.s americans or whatever right and there's a sense of um calmness that we can feel when we have that sense of sameness you can relax, you know, really just um, have that sort of chill feeling. Um, but if there's kind of too much sameness, um, things might start getting sluggish. The energy can sort of run down. If we're both exactly the same, we agree without everything, there's not really much to talk about anymore. And so this is where difference comes in. Difference, having different ideas, uh, disagreement, um, contrast, is super energizing and of course this is a little bit of what's at the heart of conflict right but there's a certain level of excitement that can arise um, that 
when we have a difference because it, it all of a sudden it, it, it creates um, yeah it creates like a dynamic tension in reality and it's part of what makes a good story right it's like something normal is happening then something changes and then that creates like the tension of the story now the thing about difference however is we can get to the point where that level of difference that level of disagreement um, can stray so far away from that sense of connection and the sameness that it starts becoming a threat. Um, it can actually start feeling dangerous. Um, and at that point, it's no longer energizing. It actually will start to cause us to close down um, and, yeah, it's basically shut down. Um, and so when that happens, we can then remember to return to the validation of our sameness, which can then bring that kind of restoration or calm um, back into the system. And so I encourage you to think about how this actually plays out in any conversation you have. Um, maybe you could think about a conversation you had recently and, um, you know, like notice what were the moments when there was sameness and then what were the moments where there was difference? How did it feel? Or in the next conversation that you have, can you notice what it feels like when you're um, you know, agreeing with each other and when, it, when you're starting to push away from each other. And something that can be really interesting to do is to actually practice this with someone. You know, someone who you know, a friend or a family member or someone you're close to or a colleague even. Um, you can try, let's just talk about something that we both, you know, have an opinion about and we'll just work on agreeing with each other. We'll just agree, 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 agree. And then we can try to disagree, 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 and see how that feels. And then we can come back to agree, 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 agree. Um, and you can also notice this when you're in a conversation with someone, maybe without it being even intentional, in your own mind, you can start to pay attention. Oh, hey, wow, we're disagreeing a lot right now. Is there something that I can do to revalidate our sense of connection and sameness? Um, you know, just to be like, maybe you can just empathize with the feelings that they're having. You can also just do some good reflective listening. It's a really useful way of just being like, okay, I just want to say I understand this and this and this, and those are important to you. You know, and this part right here, I really want to let you know I really agree with you about that. You know, find those points of connection because that can then bring us back to that difference, which, as I was saying in this part of diversity, is part of what creates more creativity, more full participation, um, and... Also, that difference can help us grow and change as we like then start shifting the way that we, you know, maybe saw things before because now we've had a little bit of a contrast. I also want to just like pay attention because we're in a world that's siloing out into like our different cultures and our different political groups. It's worth paying attention to like, are you creating spaces in your life where you are just have certain people that you have sameness with? and other people that you only have difference with. And like, what would it be like to actually find the sameness with the people who you tend to focus on the differences? And similarly, like, what would it be like to bring some of that dynamic energy of difference into the places where you have sameness? Um, and, you know, those might be totally different conversations, but, you know, I think that, in, you know, something that we can do just in a single conversation, just in a single moment of, you know, a couple minutes, but we can go from sameness to difference to sameness to difference back and forth. Maybe in our whole lives, we kind of go for like days or hours where we're like in difference or other times when we're, um, you know, really in the sameness. So pay attention to that. And, um, you know, I'd be interested if anybody wants to make any comments on this video. I'd be curious if you can, you know, if you want to share about a recent conversation that you had. Um, and you want to tell us about how did sameness play out for you? Or how did difference play out? Um, and, you know, do you find that, or can you think about people who you have a lot of sameness-focused conversations? Or can you think about people in your life who you have a lot of difference-focused conversations? And, like, what do you think would mean to shift some of those? Thank you for watching. Uh, my name is Duncan Autry. I am a conflict transformation catalyst. And you can find out more information about me and my work at DuncanAutry.com. Thank you.